Oh, we're gonna go for Lara anyways. Oh! <laughs> Welcome, welcome back to Rawson and welcome back to Vision Quest. It's been a couple days for me since we played last. So I'm excited, excited to get back into part one, chapter seven, graveyard shift. Ah, uh, yes, we were going into the graveyard to hide away. Ha, ah, in ancient times before the land had taken the names they bear today, humankind was in strife. Great wars seared the lands, leaving destruction and death in their wake. The sacrifices of the strife in the region of Bellaro today now lay rest in a coastal mausoleum. Lost to time to some, but not all. Here we are, the graveyard. Well, it, it'll be our resting place. Let's hope it isn't our final one. Oh, hush you. Don't scare them off. It's bad enough we have to come here. I kid, sister. Loosen up a bit. It feels just like old times being here. Don't sweat it. This place will be fine. So long as it's safe. I take it you both have spent a lot of time here? More than we'd like to admit. It's a bit peculiar to me that the two... Two... How are we saying this? I started saying Kuching, I think. Kuchingi... 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 It just feels a little bit wrong to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Kuchingi would know this place. Kuchingi... <laughs> Kuchingi. Uh, we'll just say Kuchingi, okay? Much, much less be in Bellaro at all. Tell me, who are you really? Esphere! Storch, you can't be so trusting. They're hiding something from us. This whole thing feels, feels suspicious. You've been giving us a glaring eye the whole walk here. You don't trust us one bit. Let me guess. You're from Western Navan. Figures. Your border never... You border Nevanese. You border Nevanese always take issue with our folk. I'm happy to return the favor if you want to play this way. Three, please. This is no time to bring up old tensions. Our people haven't been at war with Nirvana in decades. What's going on? How, do you guys know each other? No, it's just. I'm sorry. I don't want to get into it, but please accept my apology. I didn't mean to be rude to you both. That's better. Thank you, Esfir. And I'm sorry too. We have not been forthright either. Sri and I are fugitives. We are on the run. Do we? You dimwit! You sh we shouldn't be telling people that. I care not, brother. It's clear they know nothing of us and what we've done. Besides, we are far from our borders out here. So, what did you do? We were involved in a robbery. Go on. Right. Our people live in relative poverty in the plains of Kuching. Kuching, whatever. We're into the, uh, how do you say, the old ways of living. Sri, myself, and... A few of the others attacked a supply caravan. We thought they were merchants. We were wrong. It was a supply train from Mostyn. Their knights retaliated. They captured or killed most of our friends. Sri and I were seen and have been on the run ever since. We originally figured Mahala would be a good place to hide, as many of our ancestors made the journey centuries ago. But Valaro has been pretty good to us. Low-key and mellow, a seaside breeze. What's not to like? We were still planning on going to Mahala. But we also didn't want to starve, so we've been mulling around here for a while. But does that answer your question? Works for me. We're not too different. Indeed. I apologize for questioning you, but it had to be done. Please forgive my interrogation. We've dealt with worse. Look, I'd love to grab an ale and swap tales of life on the run, but it looks like we're not alone here. Did you see that? Someone's lurking there in the shadows. What? Who's there? Come on out if you know what's good for you. Damn, it's too dark here. I can't see f too far after all, or something. Stay together, everyone. It looks like we have company. Another Fog of War chapter. It appears we have been found. Kind of looks like inns. He kind of looks sick. Uh, the guy on the right kind of looks like um, a Pablo type. <clears throat> they look like they look like nothing but a band of petty thieves. I bet <clears throat> they won't know who we are or what we are doing. This is a graveyard, after all. A fitting end, wouldn't you say? Indeed. We cannot let them leave after seeing us. Uh, it is too risky. Additionally, well, we must be wary of intruders from the Northwest. Our brothers have noted suspicious activity there as well. We will be wary. Let's bury them. I think I may have a better use for them. All right, like I said last time, short and sweet when it comes to the conflict. Seems like we'll see what they're, uh, or we'll find out what they're after shortly, but taking a look at the map. This is a pretty cool looking map here. Um. I don't know that this makes any sense right here, but as far as map design goes, 
that's not exactly my uh, forte, I would say. Um, and but but that just seems a little off to me, personally speaking. We got some chests up here. Obviously, a sphere is a must pick. Uh, some fog. We've got a pretty uh, nifty little uh, island type thing right here. Um, our pirate might be sort of useful. Maybe not, really, but... We also have a flyer. And I also have the hiccups. Alright, straight to it. If we're to rest easy, we'll need to search thoroughly for stragglers. Indeed, as far as I can see, there's only one other way out of here. We should examine this other exit carefully to rid ourselves of any surprises. Okay, we got a way up there. Defeat bosses. There's going to be multiple. We got two thrones. We got three chests. And what is that right there? That red that red spot right there looks a little weird. Looks a little menacing. Uh, but who's got the torch? It is you. I wish I'd have given it away. Because I will want to do this. Da, 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 we got a pure water up ahead. Do we also have a barrier? Did I forget to, uh, that I forget to, Yes, we do have a barrier. Um, I think I'm gonna throw that in there and grab that mend again. Uh, probably should have barriered. Alright, we did bring uh, Navar no, Nazar and we give him the uh, the special little axe there. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to put that to good use. We can grab the. <sighs> We're gonna try this again because I did not mean to do it, do this, do do it that way. We're going to that, take that. We're going to barrier you, Storch, Storchy boy. And we are going to. Grab the torch, like so, and then go here. I level up for, uh, what's her name? Speed and luck. All right, and HP. <gasps> we got thieves here. And these guys are cult cult cultists, by the way, if we miss that. Steal, uh, steal, uh, thief skills. Members of a cult sworn on a forbidden oath. Good to know, good to know. Got lots of mages up here. Probably should have been should be taking the uh, the axe guy this way. So maybe we'll throw him here and then rescue him the other way. But da 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 da. Gosh, these themes in this game are just so so singable. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. <laughs> like, my goodness. All right, so I think we'll just throw a hand bow over here. Da 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 da. -da. Da, 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 da. Storch really needs some more speed still. It's kind of really sad, actually. I'm gonna talk. Vigalus, how's your shot in the fog? Same as normal. Meaning it's awful then. <laughs> we both we we both know we wouldn't have made it this far if that if that was if that was the case. Fair enough. I've spent many early mornings waiting waiting for the fog to fade out. Ugh, fa waiting. For the fog to fade when I went out on a hunt. You can't shoot as far, but you can shoot just as well as at short range. So, for you, still horrendous. Would you like to participate in target practice? <laughs> I'll pass, but thanks for the offer. Alright, and then we will go in with the hand bow. We gave the hand bow over, and uh, we decided to bench Sri, because his res is really bad, and we also decided to bench uh, the armor knight. Uh, forgetting her name at the moment, but for a similar reason, just, you know, not a whole lot of tanking potential I felt in this game, or in this chapter. And then we, we, I thought I'd take out Nazar for a spin, see, uh, see what he could bring to the table here. This one is going to be a little tricky as well, because, uh, everybody's got not 
the best res here. And then we've got the longbow here, which I'm going to try to see. She's not going to be able to do it, but we can use a pure water, I guess. Uh, that doesn't really help me here, does it? Uh, 18. Still take like 10 damage. Ba -da -da. Guess I can use one here. And yeah, I might as well use the thunder. And then we will talk. Do I want to support them? I don't really know if I'm going to use her as the thing. Lara, don't get too far. We don't know who or what we're fighting here. The air feels funny here. I'm not sure if it's the scent of death mixed with an ocean breeze or what, but it's certainly off. Yeah, I feel uneasy being here too. Do you sense anything magical? I don't really work like... It doesn't really work like that, according to my teacher at least. What about other kinds of magic? Maybe? Who knows? All I know is that this fog stinks, and whoever thought fog was a good idea should go soil themselves. I mean, the fog ain't... Okay, yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't know. I don't honestly think I'm going to use her, so I don't... I don't remember if I read something about supports working a little bit differently in this game, but... I kind of just don't think I'm going to use her, so... I think we'll hold off on now. He's going to dodge tank everything, so it's not going to matter that I don't have the hand axe on him. Oh boy, that kind of matters though, doesn't it? Oh, he didn't even damage him. This is an interesting song. I bet this is from something that I don't know. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, we gotta make sure we're not missing any stealables as well. Gotta keep an eye out. None of these guys. It's just that pure water that we do get and this torch that we will also get, but I'm not convinced I'm one rounding here. Round one rounding here. So 18 plus 9 is gonna be what? 27? That's gonna be some big damage. I can throw uh, Vigilis up here and go for a longbow uh, to bait that archer out and then maybe we can swoop in with uh, what's her name after and now we can also throw in a hammer because this is definitely going to hit oh Oh, okay. Well, then we're you're fine, right? As long as he hits this iron blade, then we're good. When does Storch not come through for us? <clears throat> Basically, every time he doesn't double. All right. So, I think we'll go here, heal you like so, and then we're going to not stick around very long with Onisim. Uh, 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 mm. da, 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 da. Okay, so we're gonna do thunder here. Ba -da -da. We're gonna dodge this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then someone can go in for the KO. Is it going to be Marlin? I kind of want somebody. I want uh, Esphere to get some kills here. That'd be nice. So I think we'll go here with our Arcady. Arcady. I'm just fast forwarding through fluxes nowadays. It's, uh, it's too much. Could use the Ruby Sword, but... Not a whole lot of usage uses left. I think we're gonna do this. Oh, Marlin levels up. He's already level nine. Okay, it's not too bad. Speed's always good. I don't know that I want to do this. That's kind of a lot. I'll throw uh, her up here, and then. 14. 
do 10. She'll be okay here. Oh, no, uh... Oh, we're gonna go for Lara anyways. Oh! <laughs> okay, um... Oh, he doesn't damage us, but... <laughs> she's got doubled by a freaking steel sword, dude. That is insane. Oh my god. Oh, I guess we gotta, like, uh, get going here, don't we? That's actually kind of really bad. And wait... That, that counts as a cliff? That's so dumb. All right, now we gotta, we gotta get, we gotta get after it. Are they gonna kill him? 14 to 14, they're not gonna kill him, but it'll be kind of close. What we're gonna do actually is shove here uh, and then I'm thinking maybe we might have to use a rescue, actually. If he's going to go after this, at least we got a, an extra turn, basically. But, oh, they've got, they do have a peg. And then what is this? A steel bow. We don't want to... Uh, I keep wanting to say... I don't know what I want to call her. Natsuko. Okay. Um, We'll go here, like so. We'll use the wind. Better hit, I think. And then we can heal up with this dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm thinking we just go for this. Uh, she'll be able to counter the next guy pretty easily, especially when she dodges. And uh, we need some kills on her. Get her some levels. Uh, and then this. Speeding up that flux. And then Marlin can ride around like so. And go for that KO. That guy was fast. I don't think he was that fast, but... Still. I mean, he must have been pretty fast to double. I, I think it only we only lose like... One point of speed with Thunder on Lara, even though she got like no good levels. Uh, felt like we needed a little bit of a. Oh, that is unfortunate. A little bit of a res tank on the squad, so we did bring her, even though her levels have been garbage. Alright, level 12 strength is good. I would have liked some speed, but that is still great. And this is gonna miss. Okay. Oh, he only does one to Storch. All right. What can we do here? Don't really want to do that, I think. Da, da. That's a good move. We'll go here. And Esphere will have to heal herself. We're going to speed through it. Because the shamans are just so like... Yeah, we get it. <laughs> You're dead too. So we're going to go like so. And then maybe that, honestly. Okay, this is where it gets a little sketchy here. Wait. Oh, the forests are only 15 in this game. How come I'm just realizing? And they're one. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. This has got to. This has got to work. Thank you. Come on, Azar. Something useful. Something useful would be nice. Oh, oh my god. Okay, okay. Wait, was that res too? I think it was. Insane. He's cracked. All right, 
right, this is a good uh, chip damage here because we take zero. And then something like so with the slim. This guy's got an iron sword or iron lance or whatever you want to call it. We do got to get up there though. I, I should probably be using rescue. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Oops. Did not mean to speed like that. He's not going to double. Nope. Freaking starch, man. You need to hit the... I don't even know. The teal gem. The teal gem, huh? I think... I don't think we're going to get it. I don't think we're going to get it. Unless we can rescue... The thing is, there's an archer right here, so we can't do... Natsuko. We're gonna have to... Yeah, I think we're foobed. I think we're foobed up. Foob... Foob... Foobar. Unless... No. I don't think it's gonna happen. We can try this. Uh, uh, uh. This is a forest. So we kind of do need to clear both of them, but how are we going to do it? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. That's that's lame. I hope he doesn't just leave. What is this worth? Oh, it's only worth one thousand. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> um, I know it's like trying to be said that uh, resources are 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 scarce or whatever, but. I don't know. Alright, I just gotta make a decision here. Let's take out you. You won't even be able to hand axe him anyway. Uh, but the rescue... will make sure he's up here. You know, maybe for some reason he'll want to steal from me doubt it uh, but also now we can do this and it's totally gonna hit nice it actually did hit Storch probably gonna die anyway sitting up there I'm so sorry <laughs> Oh boy, okay. What do we have over here is like the question, you know? It's like the question that I'm like wondering, you know? Don't really know. Uh, I think we're just gonna go for it. It's only six damage, not too bad. And if he crits, that's crazy, but he doesn't, and then we we get hit and then we're gonna we're gonna go for this and she better not miss. Ah! Okay, she missed, but is she going to be fine? Probably not. Probably really just not. Okay, so. So we're going to warp. We're going to, ooh, we're going to warp over here. And we're going to level up. And we're not going to get magic, but we're going to get defense, which is all right. Um, and we're going to stand right here. Have we pure watered? Are there any mages that actually move? Miasma Stois, a mysterious sorcerer, leader of a shadowy cult. I don't think any mages can hit me. All right, we're gonna lose our gem. I feel like we might. Let's um, whatever. And we're not doubling. Ah. The pegs can fly. I almost forgot. 
We still might be in trouble, but hopefully that blocked an angle, so, you know. And hopefully that archer can't hit me either, actually. And we're not doubling the pet. Okay, we are, but we're missing. We're missing. That's not good. I don't like missing. Well, the archer will be able to attack me, right? And we're not missing, or we're not dodging, or we're not doing whatever. We are dodging that, which is helpful. Very, very, very helpful. All right, I think that he did run away, which sucks. We were too slow. Wind is not effective. That's actually pretty unfortunate. So, looks like we've got a bit of a struggle on our hands. And the archer can't hit us, by the way, if you were keeping track. Da, 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 da. Arcady is not hitting the level quite yet. We are going to heal up S-Sphere because we can. And we are going to hit this Iron Sword. Yes. 27 HP is not too bad for a thief. And do we go for this? I think we got to. Wow. But if we miss, then that is going to be trouble. Da -da. Oh, like we missed there. I'm thinking maybe we just heal. That might be the best bet for right now. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. This archer is kind of dumb. <laughs> You can go out of your way to go get him, I suppose, but puts your flyer at risk and it's a torch, so I mean, might as well, but also it's not huge, like, I don't know. I'm going to go for this because I want to get him out of the way. Hitting one of them should be enough for Storchy Pants. Um, why we called him storage shoe pants, I don't know, but we're good. We're doubling. We're doubling with his limb sword. Finally, double somebody. He got speed. Oh my God. Oh my God. It was crazy. Oh my God. He was a crazy leveler. Oh, wowzers. That's actually huge. Wait, I probably should have moved her there. Okay. Healing was the right choice here, seems like. Um, oh, three damage on an Arcadius. Not bad. We'll take that. Oh, we're going to heal? That's lame. Okay, we've got two bosses here. What are the skills? All odd rhythm. Uh, all right, and even rhythm. Uh, well, I think we have Arcady come finish this guy because Lara is not going to be able to do it very quickly. <clears throat> and he's going to level. Oh my goodness, he's quick. He's a quick guy. Hmm. This is good chip. Just like that. Marlin another level up too. Level 10. Strength. Oh my goodness. We are on a roll here. Uh, I'm not going to get into the range quite yet. We're going to throw some... Uh, strikes here with S sphere on the guy, the cultist priest. <gasps> Who is this? Oh, and we're gonna we're getting a heal from this. That's kind of funny. Oh, ba -da 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 -da. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't really want to use a torch, but I want to get this over with. 
Pretty sure he doesn't kill me, okay? Pretty sure. No, he does not kill me. So we're fine. We're gonna get a torch. Use a torch to get a torch, right? And what is this turn? This is level uh, turn nine. So the <laughs> one of them's gonna be buffed and the other one's not. So that's funny. And even so, it's like not a big buff at all. Not sure I want to give a boss kill to Nazar. One, he won't be able to hit. And two, not totally sure we're going to use him. So we'll just keep it here. You challenge me here? Well then, what are you waiting for? Come. Right. Don't, uh, don't say you didn't warn me. Miasma. Kind of a thick animation, but... It's, uh, it's gone. No more. And then Storch comes in easy for a Slim Sword KO. Our ambitions, will they be unfulfilled? I think so, but we're gonna level up. Alright, we'll take that. My issue earlier was that he was, uh, not very strong and being not strong and not fast he doesn't feel like a very good lord a uh, very good unit i guess is more correct so i'm glad we kind of straightened that out a little bit i'm not sure i don't want to burn a turn on s sphere so i think i'm just going to give it to arcady 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 just like that we got another heal, and then we'll just farm heals from here. I don't even have a heal on her. And then we'll chest there. Got an elf fire. That's nice. Oh, we still got this guy here. I forgot. Insolent fool! You should have not have come. You should not have come to this forsaken place. We're gonna speed through miasma because it's long. Okay, it just takes forever. That's all. Should we give another 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 to storage? Probably not because I've uh, heard he's got a you know a uh, what do you call that a scripted promotion. So I'm sure we'll max him out with plenty of time. I don't know. I don't know that. I'm just guessing, but I think we'll give it to Vigalus, maybe. Yeah, seems like a good choice. But I'm gonna get this first just in case it ends the map. Light brand, huge. Okay. Oh, it's kind of weak, though. Uh, uh, gonna stick him right there. And we're gonna heal. Oh, and Dewey's gonna level. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Guess we we'll might as well use up this iron bell. Blast. Perhaps it is I who deserve this cruel. Cruel what? Oh my god, he's fast. Oh my god. That does end it. Whoever they were, they did not want us to find out. They didn't look like grave robbers either. Yeah, this whole encounter spooked me out. I just hope we can get some sleep now. Man, what I would do for my old bed. Storch, perhaps it's time we tried to head back to Rask. Wait, really? We need to get out of here. Everywhere we turn, we find ourselves embroiled in a conflict. Whether it be with arrogant soldiers, brigands, or bizarre cultists, it may be good for us to regroup at home. Maybe you're right. I guess we don't have much choice. We'll head to Rask. Dewey, Sri, will you be coming? Ain't got nowhere else to be, right, sister? Sadly true. Yes, we will come with you. Thanks for having us, Storch. People in the west in Western Navan tend to look down on us 
Guchini, Guchingi, and we and think that we are beneath them. You and your comrades, I sense no hostility. Ignorance is bliss, right? Something to be said about only knowing what's right in front of you. You're like me. Who care? Who cares which path? Who cares which pa which patch of soil you were born on? You've earned my trust, and mine too. Let's go. A late night brawl leaves Storch and team with nowhere safe to go. Reluctantly, and per Esfer's suggestion, Storch heads home in hopes he can take a reprieve with his parents, despite his father's stern words months prior. However, upon their arrival, not all is as it seems. Mom! Dad! We're back! Huh? They're not here! What? They're not here? That doesn't sound good. Storch? Is that you, my boy? Hey, Owen. It is. Marlin is here, too. Good. I'm glad you're both here. I assume you're here because you heard the news. What news? Are our parents okay, Owen? Well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, boys. But your parents were taken prisoner for not paying their taxes. They took a few other folks from town, from here and neighboring towns. What? Those dastards. Groton raised the taxes to... Grodden raises the taxes to an obscene rate, and then punishes people who cannot afford it. Mom, Dad, where were they taken? Your guess is as good as mine, boy. The word has it that Jailer is one of Grodden's men. They've been taking folks up to, up to North Grodden's manse. T to Castle Bellaro. When did they get taken? Yesterday. Now, boy, I know what you're thinking, but it's too dangerous. We'll get the money together to get them out. But what will happen after we get them out and we have nothing? What's to stop them from doing this again? No, this has to end now. I've been running around for months and all it's brought is more grief for all of us. We've proven we can fight and hang with the best of them. And this, this puts me over the edge. I got into this pro to protect my family and I failed. But now I'm going to make things right. And if I can't, I'll die trying. Brother, you're a fiery one, Storch. You remind me a bit of your older brother. I've heard rumors about your exploits, too, and the run-ins you've had. What's up with this mustache blinking? What's up with that? So which story do you believe? Am I a fugitive or am I a hero? We're not fugitives. We're just trying to do what we can. Right, brother? Boy, I know you're no thief. The people aren't trusting of Groden, at least, at least those with any common sense. Look, I'm not going to stop you if you want to go, but remember to stay safe. If you want to challenge Grodd and head on and liberate Bellaro, that's your prerogative. I see you've assembled quite a force of soldiers here, so I'm sure more will join you. And all I ask is that you don't die. Don't let your parents feel that pain again. I won't. Thanks, Owen. Family. Family is really important, isn't it? We wouldn't be doing any of this if it weren't for them. We're doing it together, brother. I know you're tired and stressed, but if we combine our strength, we can do it. We really can do it. That's right. As much as I don't want to do this, if we're going to do it, we should do it together. Owen, will you join us? <laughs> You've got guts, boy. I'll give you that. My axe arm isn't what it used to be. To get into a good brawl again is... To get into my good... To get into a good brawl again, it is my dream. But I'm too old now. I can't do it. I've got to manage the shop. The least I can do is help you stock up. Ah, heck, Owen. That's really nice of you. Brother, do you really think we can liberate Bellaro? Marlin, I'm about as mad as I've ever been. I can feel my hands shaking. There's nothing more I want to do than punch Grodd in the face. More importantly, we gotta get our parents back safe. You know, I kind of thought this going into this scene, but this is not the music here. This is not the mood. If the only way to do what- If the only way to do that is to fight him head on, then that's what we gotta do. It's cut and dry to me. This whole time I've been trying to survive, focusing as much as I can on that, but now... Now, we've proven we can't... We can't keep doing the same thing. We've got to take the fight to them. I'd rather die fighting than live knowing I could have done more. If this journey has taught me anything, it's that. Let's get everyone together. Looks like we're on our way again. Hey! Nice! Alright. <clears throat> Wait, Storch. Before you go, I have a favor to ask you. Huh? What is it? Look after Larissa. 
My daughter is tough as nails, but she's the only family I have left. I know you and her, you and her don't speak much, but I don't think she's been doing this. I don't think she'd be doing this if she wasn't interested in patching things up. Right. I'm not looking. I'm not asking you to make amends. Look, <clears throat> I don't really care about the dramas of teenage romance, but just don't let whatever happened between you two all those years ago cloud your judgment, all right? I won't. Good. I'm going to go chat with her before you head off. Storch, remember what I said. Don't die on us. And give them hell. I won't forget. Larissa, are you well? Father, I am. I'm glad to see you're safe. I spoke with Storch, and he's going to fight back to save his parents. Are you going with him? <clears throat> yes. I don't really know why I kept fighting after that bandi bandit attack. A woman such as myself, a fugitive, doesn't sit well at all. Oh, Father, I'm conflicted. It all used to be so easy. Now every decision weighs on me like a stone. Tell me, does it get easier? Will it ever, will it ever be like it, how it was? Things will get better. Though they, th they get worse sometimes, but we're always moving forward. Even if it takes us longer than we'd like, or if the path isn't as clear, part of growing up is being able to accept that uncertainty. You're right. Father, I will continue to fight. I've come so far. It'll only get easier, right? It does. You've grown right before my eyes into a fine woman. Larissa, you've got your mother's... <laughs> Got your mother's resolve. I can see it in your eyes. Father. Never mind all that. Just a father getting sentimental about his girl growing up on him. But before you go, I want to give you this. I made it for you. This spear. It's beautiful. Father. I simply cannot accept such generosity. Look, I can't fight alongside you. It pains me that I cannot. Take this in my stead. All right. Thank you, Father. You're welcome, Larissa. Don't let anyone get in your way. Choke every point with pride. Please be safe. Father's love. Oh my gosh. And it's a it's a ranged weapon with crit. Whoa. Alright, that's pretty good. Liberation of Bellaro. Sounds like serious business. What happened to the quiet life at home? I'd spend it regretting not taking any action to help my family. I know my dad is a stubborn mule, but he's my father all the same. I gotta help him. You're more mature than most, Storch. I give you credit. But challenging Grodden? We are already his enemy, and our numbers are small. We should really cons consider... No, I can't run anymore, Esphir. Running these past few months? Heck, I'm tuckered out not and not getting anywhere. My parents were taken, Esphir. I can't just run away to save myself. We've won our battles so far, but this next one may be our toughest yet. Storch, we are with you to the end. Storch! I told you, they're they're gonna tell stories about us. This may be the most exciting chapter of that tale. Just think, Storch the hero of Port Irene? Nay, the hero of Bellaro, joined by his local, <laughs> lo lo loyal pals, Vagalus the stone golem, Esphere the dagger in the shadows, and Arcady the handsome. Cousin, you're wrong. Surely your looks won't be what you're remembered for. Vagalus, you snake in the grass, you wound me. That's no way to talk to someone who's going to end this reign of terror. Do you know what they'd say about you? They'd say, remember Vagalus? He used to, <laughs> he used his bow to attack from far away. He stood by idly as his handsome cousin, Arcady, deftly vanquished the enemy. Unlikely. Let's not waste time speculating. We need to act. Storch, we're all here. Let's go. Right. Let's go. All right. That, there's some real dialogue for you. All the dialogue we've been missing the uh, story progression <clears throat> yeah we're finally uh, moving towards where we always knew we would go but you know I am a little worried if we have to fight somebody like uh, what was her name Leslie not sure we're going to be up for that quite yet but hope we are maybe we get a chapter or two in between <laughs> anyways thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one